Welcome back. Today we are continuing our series on the uh, walkthrough of the 2017-2018 SHSAT Math Form A. This is part four. We're going to do questions 91 through 102. Uh, please, if you like the series so far, go ahead and subscribe. And if you do not have a copy of this test for some reason by this point, you can look at the description below and go ahead and download and or print a copy for yourself. All right, let's get started. Uh, we are doing 91 first. There are six different cookies on a plate. Anyone will choose two of these cookies to pack in his lunch. How many different pairs of two cookies can he choose? So, you can start with a pair here, right? You're going to have five options. Then you're going to have four options. You're going to have three options, two options, one option, and zero options. Right? This is the additive property. So, 9, 10, 15. Number 91 is B. All right, 92. Uh, he creates five slides in 20 minutes. Let's decrease the size of this a little bit. And Kyra can make three slides in 10 minutes. There we go, that's better. They want to know how much can they make in one hour? So over 60 over 60, this is times 6, so this will be 18, this is times 3, 15, 18 plus 15 is 33. So 92, we have G. Okay, let's move on to number 93. All right, we got a number line. Number line L, N is 1 8th. Okay, point M is located between L and N. What are the possible values? So we have to figure out what it is from here to here. So 4 and 5 sixteenths is our first uh, fraction here. And if we just add 2 sixteenths, which is 1 eighth, we'll end up with 4 and 7 sixteenths. All right, so we have to do some division. So 5 divided by 16 is 0 0.00. 0. Okay, this will go in 3 times. 48. We get 2, 0. Zero, and we have. Oh, excuse me, I think I made a mistake on that one. If it's five divided by sixteen, we're going to have one right there. Yeah, not zero. Okay, one sixteen minus is four. Bring down the zero, and we're going to have a two. It's three one two. And that's thirty two, eight zero, and that'll be a. Uh, Five times. Okay, so this first one is 4.321.3125. Next one is uh, 16 into 7. Put some zeros. So we have 7 divided by 16. All right. Again, we're going to have our 4, right? And then we're going to have point 0.4 is uh, 64. 60. That'll be uh, 3 is 48, which is 12. And then 7, which is 16 times 7, 112. And we have 8, which is 5. Okay, so we've got to find a number between 4.3125 and 4.4375. And we're looking at, let's see, 93. Uh, that would be C. C is between those two. Okay. Number 94. Uh, if I can get this cleaned up, we're going to do number 94. Uh, an unmarked straight stick. We need something that measures 72 and 30. So we need the greatest common factor, 72 and 30. So 31 and 30, 2 and 15, 3 and 10, 4 and 0, 5 and 6. Okay, for 72, 1 and 72, 2 and 36. 3 and uh, 24. Does 4 go in there? Yeah, it does. 4 and, uh, I don't know, what would that be? 18? Yeah. 5, no. 6. Yeah, 6 goes in 12 times. 7, no. 8, yes. 8 and 9. So, let's go through and start here. 30? No. 
15, no. 10, no. 6, wait. So our answer is 6, which is G. Let me clean that up. There we go. All right. This section of problems has taken a little more math than the others, but let's keep moving on. 95. So number five, we have 150 pages. Uh, it took him 30 minutes to read the first 20, so we're down to 130 pages. Uh, how long will it take him to read the rest? Well, if we divide that by 20, uh, six times, and we're going to do half. So that's one fourth of an hour, plus we have three hours, three and one quarter. B. All right. Let's see. Here we have m equals, we need to find m over n in terms of w, x, y, and z. All right, so m is w over x, and n is y over z. So what we have to do, move the x to the bottom and the z to the top. So we end up with w, z over x, y, which is answer. Uh, G for 96. All right, 97 now. Instead of consecutive integers from 12 to 30, how many are not divisible by two or three? Okay, so 12, no. 13, yes. 14, no. 15, no. 16, no. 17, yes. 18, no. 19, yes. 20, no. 21, no. 22, no. 23, yes. 24, no. 25, yes. 26, no. 27, no. 28, 29 is good. And then we have 30, and we're done. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, which is B. 97 is B. Okay. Next page. 98. All right, we have to find which of the cities has the greatest number of students. Okay, so we have, what, 8 times m is how much? 500. 8 times 5 is 4,000. So that's m. n is going to be less, obviously. Uh, p has 400, so p is 9 times 4 is 3,600. So p is out. m is still our leader in the clubhouse. q and r each have 700, so it could be q. 7 times 6 is 4,200. Yep, that's the biggest. That's Q. And we don't even have to do R because it's less. We can just tell by the bar graph. Okay, 99. A box contains five strawberry, three banana, and two orange. Brandon selects two from the box without replacement. Both candies are not bananas. So bananas are three, so we have seven out of ten times six out of nine. 42 over 90, which is what? 21 over 45 and 7 over 15. There it is. C. Okay. Three questions to go. Number 100. We have W over X equals Y over Z. W over X equals Y over Z. Uh, we need to find z, okay? So, first we need to multiply by z. So we have z times w over x equals y. Let me do the reciprocal here. So we have z equals y x over w, which is what? y x over w, y x over w, h, for number 100. Number 101. On the number line below, we have some integers. We have uh, w to x is 4, x to y is 2, and y to z is 3, even though it doesn't look like that at all. Um, let's see. What is the value of w to y? Let's see how long the whole thing is. From w to z is negative 10, it's 18. What do we have here? We have... 6, 7, 8, 9. So these numbers need to be doubled in order to find the right numbers. So this is going to be 8, this is going to be 4, this is going to be 6. And they want to know from w 
to y, so that's 8 plus 4 is 12c. Okay, last problem. A uh, metal plate used in an electric device must have a thickness of 0.02. 1% uh, air, so divide this by 1%. 0.002. No, no, no. So you have to multiply it. 1% and then add it back on. So it's going to be 0 0.02 plus 0 0.0002, which is going to be 0 0.0202, which is G. Okay, so we took 0 0.02 times 0 0.01%. All right, it gives us 0 0.0202. All right. Hope you enjoyed that. Please remember to subscribe and we'll see you back for part five. Good luck.